on this week's What Do You Got? The History of History. Stay tuned. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Bro Down Podcast. I'm Tim Fulton. I'm Andy Smith. And this is What Do You Got? A little topic, or a little topic. I'm already screwing up. It's so hot in here. It a is. little segment where we come to the table with the topic that the other guy doesn't know about. It's Andy Karen. Andy, what do you got? History of history. All right. Well, that's vague as hell. Yes, it is. So, you kind of know a little bit of the story I'm about to tell. But, Go. Um, just say uh, a friend recently had uh, had an uncle who had a old motorcycle. Okay. And... They'd had this motorcycle for a long time. Okay. And there was a discrepancy in the year that it was made and the and the and the VIN number and all this stuff. So when they started doing some digging into it, um they ended up finding that the the VIN number was a different year than the model of motorcycle that it was. So I tried helping out and looking up some stuff. And what happened was uh after a lot of talking to people at the at the basically the dealership and all that stuff, um, the motorcycle is probably fifty something years old. Okay, not that old in terms of history, so no. it should be fairly easy to figure out like what happened to it and where this came from. It's got numbers plated on it and all this stuff, so it ends up the numbers are all filed off except for the VIN number. Okay, so there's no way to tell what what model or what where the engine came from or any of this stuff and so it's like a ghost bike it's a ghost bike and it got me thinking like you could like when it comes to history you can have something that's right in front of you where you can you know like i know that this is a this but like all the evidence is saying it's not that but you know that it's a this but you can't prove it. You know what's funny about that? Going like slightly off of what you're going, like same concept, but okay. completely different topic. Yeah. Uh, they're coming out with all this like lineage stuff. Like all the 23 and me's are popular now. Mm-hmm. And like those are like accurate to a degree, but a lot of people are are really like reconsidering like like what they are in terms of lineage because like for an example, if you were in World War II and you evaded or you fled Nazi Germany right before the war started, pure example. Yeah. There's no basis to this. And your parents ended up in, I don't know. I'm Idaho. In, I, uh, Switzerland. Okay. This is an easy one. And then they started telling everyone we're Swiss. And then your parents grew up thinking they were Swiss. Yeah. And Happened then, a lot. Uh, yeah. And then you're like, no, we're Swiss. And like, you, you, you don't know. You would never know. And it's still hard because, like, same thing with, like, that missing or the, the fact that you only have the VIN number. It's kind of like, yeah, what is it? So, you don't – a lot of people don't know. And there's a lot of shit like that. Yeah, well, that's my point is, like, I was thinking about this in terms of, like, how we learn history and, like, what we're taught and all this stuff. And it brought up so many questions in my head. I've been kind of waiting to talk to you about this for, like, a couple of days. <laughs> and the motorcycle is, like, a very – like real tangible one because you can look at that and be like, okay, I know from looking at this and from looking online and from all this stuff, I know that they only made this the year that it was the year of 1950. Yeah. And I know that that's the only year it came on here. And it, it also had the matching X, Y, Z and the person that owned it bought it in 55. So like it wasn't around that long and nobody would have done the work and all this stuff, but you can't prove it. You can only, like, guess because you weren't there. And there's n- and and it's been so far removed from people that were firsthand that it's really just a guess. It could be a very educated guess. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, educated guess. Yeah, and when we grow up when teaching history, it's never presented like that. No, it's not. It's always presented as fact. And that's like a weird – it doesn't seem like a big deal. But, like, I watch a lot of history shit just because I'm kind of fucking nerdy and shit. But I like certain periods in history. And there's – 
it's always presented as like, this is a fact. We know it to be this. It's never really like we think that this is how they did it or we think that this is what happened. But like so many times when you watch a history show, they're like, well, they used to think that it was because of this. But now they're thinking that it's more this or this is what happened or because we found this one little piece of pottery. We know now that that's not what happened. Yeah. And it's this. But it's like you just you basically just taught a whole generation or multiple generations of people that that is what history is and that they might have just remembered that that's what it was. But if it's presented as more of like a this is what we know from what we have, there's not this like marriage to this information like when people talk like a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, we didn't know that the earth was round until only a couple hundred years ago. I was about to bring that one up because not only do you have like them read rediscovering fact, right? So they're like, we think we know that it's this. Yeah. Oh, but we've discovered now it's this. You have them. There are sometimes them, the ever knowing them. But you have people sometimes who know something. But they're like, it's easier to describe it one way and correct later on. Like, the world it revolves around the sun. They're like, all right, back in his day, everyone thought the universe revolved around the earth. But then Galileo discovered, no, it revolves around the sun. And he was persecuted for that reason. And then later on, they're like, well, that's not actually accurate. They had known since a long time prior that we revolved around the sun. It's these specific people thought everything revolved around the earth and it benefited them for that reason. Yeah. And because Galileo went against them, that's why they pers- – and you're just like, wait. But I thought people up until like the 500s – when did Galileo exist? That sounds about right. 500? Off the top of my head. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Yeah, 500 AD BC. Uh, BC. B- it's AD. It's a, for was, sure it's 80 it, i was like 100 it, it's 100 AD. AD. but like you're like wait so you're go, you're backtracking years and then when you really think about it you're like well i'm kind of the idiot because there's like a million different civilizations it's not like they all collectively were like oh it's the sun it's the sun. okay yeah but that's like but it, it's I agree. yeah it's very it's very strange though because like you're you're trying to condense the history classes when you're growing up right because you got 45 minutes in a class yeah but the problem is is that 30 brat nose kids yeah and you but you cut out a lot of that like good information just so you can get it down to one sentence or 10 sentences that like sums it up it's like yeah this is what happened and you're like okay but like what actually like is that really what happened, or are you just like, like headlining this? Like it's just you're reading the headlines. There's no information that's in there. You're just reading the headlines, and like with the Earth is round and all that shit. Like, um, they've known that for like a long time, or not? Maybe not every civilization, but like there's been civilizations in the past that they can basically see that they they probably knew that the Earth was not flat. Yeah. And that there is a curvature to the earth. And when they finally like discover like some civilizations are like way more advanced than previously and all this stuff, it's like, okay, like then it, it just, it, it makes you think like you don't really know anything about history. You, you can have a really good idea, but up until like recently, like with like um, video recording and stuff like that. And even those can be very deceiving to the it's- angle the, the audio being it's, taken out of context. It's getting a thousand times worse. There's there's um these things called deep fakes. Yes, like, I know. It, That's a uh, within the next couple of years, it's gonna get scary because you can have a politician on a thing saying, "I want to kill." Yeah, I, there's I, there's I, yeah there's gonna have to be some. I, I have a feeling that there might be some kind of like that's going to be considered impersonating a political figure if you do it in the context of you're actually trying to pass as them. If you're actually trying to pass it, that would be like a form of That's like terrorism. if I dress up like a cop and I do like a skit show. I'm not going to get arrested for impersonating an officer. But if I dress yeah, up yeah, and yeah. I actually try to act like I'm an officer that's giving you- out advice to a, to a, to a, a community – it's like, well, dude, you're, you can't you're like do trying that. to pat down a lady on the on yeah. A subway. Like you can't do that, dude. Like you're you're impersonating a, a, like an official. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like even going back, like 
uh, yes, I know sir. I had this conversation with you once before about that whole uh, series that I watched on the uh, the fall of the Bronze Age. Yeah, and that was like fairly recently, like in relative terms. In yeah. relative terms, it was like I think like uh, uh, like a thousand uh, BC ish, give or take a couple hundred years. But they know a lot about like what was going on back then, but then they have no real idea what went wrong. Yeah. They know like a couple things that happened, but they don't know whether they're cause uh was it what's the word? Causation causation? Co- it, like was, uh, whether they were caused by it or whether they were a side effect of it. Yeah. So like, oh, there was mass famine and people fled the cities. It's like, well, did they did they flee the cities because of the famine or like which took place first, like the chicken or the egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um and the same thing with the pyramids. Like they used to think the pyramids were 2,500 years old, but now they're like in the Sphinx. Like there's so many diff- like uh, uh, different uh, historians who have different perspectives on how old it is. Some say it's 5,000. Some say it's 12,000. And our whole lives we grew up, we're like, I thought they were the same as the pyramids. Like, isn't that the same as the pyramids? No. Like that, I think for sure they're like, yeah, no, they're not the same time period as that. So like, it's kind of weird. Like but something they is, don't know. They don't know. And it's and, – but that motorcycle thing made me think of that because that is so close to us. It's yeah. so close. Like most of the people we know are, were alive when this thing was made. Yeah. So like – or like when, like the majority of its lifetime. And like – you know, <laughs> But you can't fi- – you, you will never know – exactly what that was unless you had like the numbers and all that stuff but they're gone do you know what's scary when people rewrite history in their own head and don't yes. realize it yes uh, we, i think everyone does that to a certain extent they do that's why they say uh uh per- person testimony uh uh eyewitness testimony is not as reliable as people think yeah they're starting to like kick it out of of uh some courtrooms because there's a it's also like uh, i don't mean it dwell on this but also like if you have like a traumatic experience i always like to think about it like the movie 300 right that movie is supposed to be from the perspective of a greek yeah so when they portray the elephants they're 45 feet high because if you never saw an elephant before and the biggest animal you knew of was a was a cow the size of a dog you'd be like jesus fucking christ that thing is gigantic yeah you'd write you'd write it down like it was 45 feet tall if you're the person watching a bank robbery and you've never been involved in a high stress situation, you're, everything is firing. So everything is going to seem way different perspective to you. Yeah. And it's going to be skewed. Sorry. It's, go it's, ahead. So the, compared to that, this is going to be one of the silliest examples you ever heard of your okay. entire life. But when I was a kid, I was playing Mario with my father when I was a kid kid. So keep in mind, we were kids when this was happening. So that probably definitely plays a factor into this. And I, the old school Mario, you can play two player, but that's really playing one player and you take turns, right? Yes. One person's Mario, one person's Luigi. So I was getting really annoyed apparently because it wasn't my turn. So my dad was running along with his little character self and I said, jump down the hole, you'll get coins. So he jumps down the hole and he dies. And I was all excited because then it was my turn. And my dad to this day says, I wasn't sure if I should punish you or not because I was proud that you came up with a solution and mad that you killed my character. Yeah. So he, we were telling that story. My dad was telling that story at some sort of uh, family event. And my brother, who was five years older than me, was like, yeah, and I told you to jump down the hole. And we were like, that wasn't you. And this was like 20-some odd years later. Oh. So like he had thought for like the past like 20 years it was him for whatever reason. Whatever made that happen in his head, he believed it. It wasn't him like exaggerating. He believed it was him. Yeah. So again, it's a silly example, but like – one day he could have had children and dad would have been passed and I would be moved out into Arizona into some concentration camp for some reason. And, <laughs> and then I don't know why I went with that. Um, Pretty dark. Yeah. Um, I'd be on the moon fighting the space. Everyone monsters. knows the concentration camps are in California. Yeah. Aren't they uh, New Mexico? Um, but he would tell that story like it was fact and his kids would believe it as fact because that's the only thing that they had. Yeah, memories are, are are very strange. They're 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 pretty shitty. Yeah. Because there's a there's so many outside factors that have nothing to do with what's actually going on. Yeah. Like if you're and look at it like a like an animal. 
right? Like if you walk in and your cat, like you have cats, I mean, they're not fully grown, but like say you walk in and you're and uh, a cat is like usually cool with you, like your neighbor's cat or something. But then right before you walked in there, the dog like tore ass through the house and like bit the cat's tail, got the cat all fucking excited. And then you walked in, didn't know what happened. And you go to pick the cat up. Cat's going to scratch you. Yeah. Cat's going to be like, get the fuck away from me. That cat's memory is going to be like, this fucking guy tried to kill me. Because the mindset the cat was in was like, everything I see right now is an enemy. So that person's an enemy. So when you think back, especially like childhood shit, you're like, oh yeah, you did this and blah, 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 blah. Like sometimes it's just like, because you were so one way about it, whether it was super happy or yeah. super whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh, I got in, I, I hit the first down. It was a 60 yard run to the end zone. You're like, it was a 10 yard pass, dude. And they're like, what? No, it was more than that. Cause like you just keep building on that memory and no one corrects you and no one's there. So like you just keep getting shittier and shittier. My dad was doing yard work in front of my brother's house the one day years ago. And a kid got into an accident. He hit a tree in my brother's property and my dad helped the kid out and he called 911 and like he was there and he, he definitely helped out. Yeah. And I think at this point in time, it was like 10 nuns and like 30 puppies that he saved from a burning, burning van. From, oh, from telling the story <laughs> yeah, over and over again. Story. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that one's kind of on purpose, but I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, they, it, it, and it's not always uh, on purpose in like a boisterous or or like intentional thing. Sometimes yeah. you just remember it wrong. Yeah. Like you've been, I'm sure you've been at like family gatherings or friends gatherings where they're like, oh, like I've had it where people have been around hearing the same story so much that they think they were there. Yeah. And like, it does happen. There's, it's so tempting for people to agree with it, but then it's like, you run the risk of almost believing you were there yourself. Like there was this one thing in, uh, it was in high school and after high school, my one buddy would always bring up a story about me, him and, uh, this other uh, buddy of ours, Mike, we went to this party in some other town we got all fucked up and like, we were driving, like just this crazy night that we had. I didn't, I don't remember it. And he's like, he's like, no, it was me. You like, Every time I saw him, he would bring it up because apparently it was like that crazy. But like, I'd have no recollection of this party at all. And like, it's not like I went to like a, like millions of parties every yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, I'm like, is like, what did I, I didn't, I don't do drugs. I didn't do drugs. Like, I'm like, what the, why don't I remember this? Like he remembers it vividly that it was me, him and another guy. And I don't, I have no recollection of it. It was almost so tempting to be like, oh yeah, but I couldn't do it. I was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no clue what you're talking about. That's the worst where you're trying to like be like, buddy, you remember this? And they're just like, what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? And you're just like, well, I can't fake it. Yeah. You can't fake it. I know. I know you can't. And yeah. that's, that's fair. But like, someone's just like, well, it meant a lot to me. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> good, uh, good story of mine. <laughs> but even shit like that, like I said, like with writing down history and everything like that, the other thing that I was thinking was like a lot of, not a lot, but there's a lot of things in history where they get it from people's writings. Yeah. And yeah. that's basically it's, a recollection of their point of view. We circle back to the same problem. Exactly. It's it's not like in Egypt in like like uh, 1000 BC that they had people fact checking each other and like making sure that everything you wrote down was 100 percent accurate. Yeah. Some guy would write down a book and everyone around him would be like, I can't read. And so he would be like, all right, so it's going on the shelf and someone's going to pick it up one day and that's going to be what's, what, yeah. what's told. I and mean, it also can be it also can be that we don't understand the perspective of what they're talking about. So if somebody um I have to take the headphones off. You keep talking. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, I'll go with you. Uh, if somebody, if somebody came up with the fact in like Egypt, right? Yeah. So if someone said today and like, and they wrote down like, oh, you know, um, like uh, uh, dogs are, are are held in the same regard as cats, you'd be like, all right, that's that makes sense. They're both animals. They're both house pets. Yeah. But knowing what we know from what we learned in school, which is probably bullshit, but it's not. But you know, you get what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, the if someone said that in ancient Egypt that dogs were the, held in the same regards as cats, that means something different there. It does, because they were the guardians of the underworld and all that stuff. So if somebody writes that in a book, but they don't know the context in which it's being written, it doesn't make sense. So like that's a whole nother thing that you have to try to pick out these pieces 
And like, I'm sure they have way better ways because they're professional historians, but trying to figure out what the fuck happened and like get it right. I don't know if we appreciate how hard that is to do. I've been thinking about it a lot. You know how I go on in the yeah, deep yeah. dives in the fucking YouTube world. It's almost like you kind of want them to take the same perspective that science does, right? Because a lot of science, there is a lot of fact in science, but a lot of science, especially now that we're getting to like the nitty gritty of it, they're like, all right, I'm going to have to think of a, an example here, and this is going to really push my back. I see what you're saying with the scientific method. Like you, you have to basically say like, we did it. It doesn't work. Get rid of it. Well, not just that. They're like, all right, we we know this does this. We're pretty sure this is why. We've tested things, and we can't disprove that that's not why. So we think that that's why. So our theory is that is why. Mm. Because we can't prove it wrong. Mm. But no matter how complicated it gets or how like pinpointed they get on it or how many times they prove yes, they'll never say this is a fact. They'll say the th leading theory is this is why this is happening because we can't disprove it. Yeah. We can't say it's wrong, but we can't say it's right. You know what a big problem apparently in the historic, like I'm sure in all fields, but in the hi historical field is that people have vested interests well, in making too. sure that certain things are not proven wrong. Yeah. Because people have written books. People have staked their careers on this is what happened. So when something comes along and it's like, oh, that's not what happened, people have a have a, a monetary interest to be like, that's wrong, just, just out of sake of money and and reputation, to be like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna argue against that and say because I have a better reputation and that goes a long way in that field and say like you don't know what you're talking about and your your research is unfounded and that you shouldn't. You it shouldn't could, be taken seriously. It could. I'm going to sneeze and it's going to break on my sentence. But it could, it's even more. Um, it could go even deeper than that. Like imagine if someone proved that uh, the actual lineage of the royal family didn't go down the correct way, and then so the royal family is just kind of like, oh, well, well, yeah, yes, it did. It's it's absolutely okay. I mean, that's just an example. Yeah. There's I don't know if any case of anything like yeah. that. But like using that as an example, like I could see why people would be like, especially because like current day countries yeah rome was built however in a day. many rome was built in a day rome was built however many years ago but the implications still last today and people rely on what happened then to dictate what's happening now so yeah. if something was iffy about what happened back then it has comp er, complications it has implications to what happens now yeah 100% yeah there's uh, but it's it's just um I think we take it as, as like, we. I don't know if, if we take it as, I don't know what the word is, not seriously, but, like, very little thought comes into, like, where the information comes from. Because it's either, like, you hear something, and you're like, that sounds like bullshit, or that sounds like it makes sense. Um, but just not being able to figure out where a motorcycle came from, from the 1960s, and having no clue. Like, you know what it is, but you don't. So it, it's very, like... It's what's funny is that, and I think we've talked about this before. People believe typically, typically, I think this is like a, a an actual psychological thing. People believe what they're told first. That's a big thing. Yeah, getting getting to the ear first. Yeah, getting to the ear first. So if someone, if your friend's uncle told him, uh, this motorcycle was from the year 1951. And then someone else says, no, the motorcycle is from 1950. He'll be like, no, it's not. 1951. Like, he'll try to prove the point. The fact that it was proven through hard evidence, through circumstance, that's the mind fuck. That's like, that's like the, whoa. Yeah. It's yeah. wrong. And that, like, it's funny that you it shakes your foundation. It's funny that you said the, the hearing the thing first. Why do you think that is? Because I think that part of that is the fact that you heard the information and if, especially if it's something that you're excited about, you have an attachment to it now. Yeah. Like I'm, I get this information. I want to tell someone about it. And then when someone disputes it, you have like, you feel like it's your, like your, your, your thing was like, you came up with that information. And now someone's saying like, you're wrong, you're wrong. And you're like, no, I'm not. I, I heard it from my uncle. It's <laughs> like, why do you even care? 
but like you have this attachment to that information yeah. because you heard it before them. I agree with you, and I think it's even for things that you don't care about because you have like you you have this. I can't. It's too high. No, it's okay. I you have this thing where you don't want to be wrong. It's like human nature. You don't want to be wrong. So yeah. Even if it's something stupid, it could be the world's dumbest thing. But if someone says no, it's X Y Z. You're just like, or they don't even have to say no to you. They could just be like, I don't know. Um, more people own cats than dogs, and you're like, no, that's not true. That's absolutely not true. Yeah. More people own dogs than cats, and they'll be like, no, it's a fact, and you'll be like, no, and you'll argue it, and then you'll sit there and you'll be like, this doesn't even matter. This yeah. literally impacts nothing in my life or anyone else's life. There's plenty of cats and dogs to go around for everybody. Yeah. And it's funny. It doesn't matter. It's funny because that's something that it's like very difficult to even prove because you literally have to go around to every single person and have them whatever, and then you can't change your opinion. And then people argue about it because they'll be like, Here, "Here's the." They'll be like, "Here's the here's the statistics that there are more dogs than cats," and they'll be like, "Yeah, well, you don't take into consideration people have inside cats and they don't get them recognized because they don't want to pay the fee with the town." And then you bicker back and forth, and then you delete Facebook for like two years because you can't take it anymore. <laughs> Personalized story. Um, the other the thing, black and blue dress, buddy. Take your oh, dude. Take your take your uh, example of the uncle telling you something uh -huh. and change one thing about it. Okay. He tells you that it's a 50 guy comes up, says it's a 51. The other guy comes up and says it's a 51. And then after that, the uncle tells him, I think it's a 50. I don't think the guy gives a shit what year it was made. What do you mean? Like if he hears the, uh, if he hears the information where it's like the, if there's a guy that's not in the conversation, it's like, Oh, I think it's a 51 or a 50 and it's it's disputing it but the guy is already in the conversation he doesn't give a shit about that information yeah because there's no attachment to it because he wasn't alone when he heard it and there's no there's nothing to go off of yeah and the other thing too where it's so tempting and it, there's like this need to want to share your information like you learn something and it's almost like somebody getting their bubble popped like people do it with uh, uh, a common one is like nutrition uh, oh, history God. where they're like, Oh, you know, well, I read that, you know, uh, uh, you know, dog nail clippings have really good in potassium and you should eat them every day. And you're like, well, uh, like, where did you read that? They're like, it's proven fact. And you're like that, that phrase, mm -hmm. it's a proven fact. It makes me just go, I'm going to question every piece of advice you ever give me from now on. Yeah. Because you don't know that you read it on Facebook. I know that you read it on Facebook, <laughs> like, because you told me you read it on Facebook. But the fact that you didn't question it enough to look at it you, concerns you, me. You're like 10 seconds ahead of me because I was waiting for you to break to be like, and the problem is all these people present it as fact. Yes. Which I'm guilty of shit like that, too. All the time. Yes. All the time. But like, so I'm part of the problem. We're all part of the problem. It, we're talking about like human nature here, I guess, and uh, and that's fact. Yes, and even even basic simple things. Now that we're on a completely different topic, but <laughs> like uh, one of the telltale factors were like like uh, is is someone trying to sell you something with this information? Yeah, that's the other thing. It's if that's the case, you have to question it more. Yeah, even if it's correct, even if it's one hundred percent correct, you have to question it more. There are also times where things can be correct and wrong at the same time. Two things can be true at the same time. Two things. Yeah. Not a lot of people Wonderful. know that and not a lot of people would like to like to admit that. Yeah. That there can be two things that are absolutely correct and you only agree with one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Two things can be real. So like like the moon landing. <laughs> I just wanted to see your face. <laughs> Get nervous about going into another topic in this hot room. Oh my god, we yeah, could no. go down that rabbit hole, but we are going to save that for another We're done. day. We're done. I've sweat my last sweat drop. Yeah, this room is officially disgusting. It's worse than a locker room. It's worse than the other day. It is worse than the other day. Yeah, I'm done. All right, guys. I don't even know what to let us know a fact that you think is absolutely positively true without any proof. Just write it down in the comment section down below. I really hope at least one person does. Moon landing, true or false? Don't forget to go to BroDownPro.com. We're, we're always coming out with new bro down gear. We actually just came out with a new line. It's D&D, but instead of classes, it's races. It's something Racist? Else. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>
you're listening to Bro Down Podcast all 